What would happen if we covered the Sahara Desert with solar panels? You all must be aware of the environmental problems directly related to energy production and consumption, such as air pollution, climate change, water pollution, and solid waste disposal. The only feasible solution to this is renewable energy, such as wind, hydro, and solar. So in this video, we are going to tell you what would happen if we try to cover Sahara Desert with solar panel. But before we begin, please consider subscribing the channel. The Sahara Desert is one of the most exposed places on Earth to the sun's rays. So the idea is that if we could gather all that energy, we could power the world. In reality, we would harvest so much more energy than we could ever possibly need. Solar panels covering a surface of around 335 square kilometer would actually be enough to power the world. This would cover just 1.2% of the Sahara Desert. Outside of electricity generation, this could have several consequences. First, the light color of the Saharan sand serves the purpose of reflecting the sun's light and heat back into the air. By covering this, we would be ensuring that more sunlight is absorbed, thus prompting a rise in ground temperature. Warmer air then rises to higher altitudes and condenses as clouds that will then fall as rain, completely transforming the desert as we know it. The planet works based on a series of well-balanced systems, and this could completely upset the apple cart. The Amazon rainforest, for example, is reliant on the mineral-rich sands blown from the Sahara for nutrients. Without these, the Amazon will not receive enough nutrients to survive, and its downfall could be accelerated. Furthermore, the increased heat in the desert won't end there. It will be transported worldwide through weather systems, resulting in less rainfall for the Amazon and more unstable weather in regions such as North America or Asia. We don't need 100% of the Sahara to be covered in solar panels. Even 20%, which is the amount that would kickstart these impacts, is not needed. Instead, a series of smaller solar farms covering 1.2% of the surface should be enough to generate enough electricity without having such extreme impacts on the environment. So guys, let us know your thoughts on this idea in the comments section. Hope you all liked the video. Until next time, goodbye.